Okay. Great. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, good evening, everybody. I welcome you all to today's session. Today is reading session two. Okay. And we're going to begin with our session now. You just need to keep these instructions in mind that um, you have a stable internet connection and a noise free environment where you sit. And please use your earphones for the best experience. And do not write anything inappropriate in the chat box. Uh, and do respect your fellow student uh, members that is a, of the meeting students and the trainer also okay great moving forward guys um we have these three memberships that you all can um opt for you instantly become a bronze member when you uh, register on our website that is ubograd.com and you get the following facilities that is a four week IELTS course one ai welch and mock test you should university recommendation free profile evaluation counselor support okay and when you upgrade to silver you get facilities like uh, three mock tests uh, in which two are ai welch and one is junior welch and 12 IELTS sectional tests not only that you also get um, smart application tracking and you show pro university recommendations okay and if you want to go for the gold membership then you get uh, Hmm. the one-on-one -on -one 20 hours IELTS coaching with the trainer. Not only that, you also get expert university recommendation and SOP, LOR, and visa facilities. Okay, guys? Okay. Moving forward, guys. Um, okay. Yeah. So moving forward, uh, we also provide this free evaluation, um, profile evaluation that is done by our experts uh, in the organization okay this the, guys this is absolutely free of cost and it is available on our website you can go and book your slot now in this you get university recommendations uh course recommendation country recommendation okay according to your academic strengths career objectives not only that uh all your interests are also kept in mind and not only that all your requirements are also kept in mind while making this recommendations report for you all absolutely free of cost okay and all the outclearance is done for you uh from a to z that is shortlisting application scholarship okay moving forward we have these live duolingo classes also for you all um uh, that goes in from Monday to Friday, 6.30 to 7.30 daily. And it's a two-week course, guys. It's like, uh, you know, um, backup for IELTS, okay? Moving forward, we also have these GRE classes that began yesterday itself. And this, this is two-month course, guys, 8.30 to 9.30 daily, Monday to Friday, okay? Um, sure. I'll repeat it again. We ha I'll show you the website and I'll explain you everything, guys. Don't worry about it. Great, Harpreet. I'll explain everything to you. Okay. And moving forward, you can avail our features and there is a waiver in the application fee as well. Guys, do um, uh, reach out to us now. Okay, great. Uh, and then we moving forward, we have these reviews um, on our website as well. Okay. Guys, this is our website. That is ubergrad.com. Okay. And see, you can go on solutions. Okay, and over here you can go on free profile evaluation. So, and you land upon this page. Okay, over here you can go and book your expert slot right now. It's just a one, I guess, uh, less than a minute's process, also. Okay, um, I'll, I'll tell you all of that. Wait, okay, so yeah, okay, not only that, uh, coming back to the home page, okay, you can come here on uh, solutions. You can go and talk to our counselor here if you go and book your slot now. Then you can also see that we are providing IELTS, GRE, and Duolingo courses. All the three courses are provided by us. I'll show you. Okay. In the solution, and see all the three courses are provided by us. We are also providing education loans for the people who actually want to reach us uh, uh, for this. You can also re reach us for this. Okay. And these are our blogs. You can check them out, guys. All the articles go on explore guys and for example today i'm gonna share with you universities in canada okay you land upon this page okay um there is a reason why study in canada you can open it and read about it then it'll show you universities in canada on the basis of ranking okay this is done on the basis of ranking for, um immediately okay and then moving forward if you put any kind of filter in it for example this is the tuition fee filter university type what kind of university do you want like for example you want a private university okay that's it 
okay so and uh, i can do more i can take a university location any particular university location also you can put guys okay for example uh, i put um uh for just for an example i put british columbia see trinity western university is there new york in institute of technology vancouver is there so that that's that okay guys for again i'm just giving you so you can use these features and um scroll and the, then you can uh, uh talk to our counselor as well okay moving forward again to the home page of ubergrad.com over here guys you can go on your name over here go to my test preparation go to this course ielts academic comprehensive life classes course click on this you land upon this page okay guys in this page all the handouts and recordings are available to you see for example we've completed listening so all the little, just see the fifth recording in listening okay guys because this is the fifth time we're repeating these sessions so you're supposed to see the fifth recording okay for example listening day one recording is there and for example i open day five for you listening day five last recording it is uploaded guys okay and now we're doing reading so uh, reading yesterday was day one okay so yesterday's recording is also uploaded guys okay and yesterday handouts handout is also uploaded day two handout i will share this link with you all in the chat box okay and you all can go through it um and uh, you know refer to the handout while doing the sessions as well okay yeah um no harpreet i feel two weeks are not like enough for ielts like if you practice then they're enough but see uh we'll we have finished the listening module last week we're going to finish the reading module this week and then next week we're going to do the writing module and last week we do the speaking module okay and you can ask your various uh, questions uh to sir who's there uh, right now and i will be handing over the session to sir and you can ask your various questions to sir at the end of the session okay um sir are you there yes ma'am okay. very good thank evening you, sir. very good evening to you too yeah thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you sir. Okay. hi guys uh, very good evening everyone and i hope you're all uh, doing well and good okay so uh, today is uh, reading session 2 i believe we have done uh, like more short answer questions definitely you all have gone through even uh, uh, you know the remaining questions which were you have to do it right isn't it so i believe you have done those questions also so we'll go to the session two today we are going to discuss about true or false not given okay so yes those who have joined today I believe uh, this must be like quite new to you. But anyways, I would like just to tell you that reading has 40 questions and you need to answer these 40 questions in one hour. That is 60 minutes. OK, so yes. Uh, yes, today we are going to do a true or false not given. Let's see. So. Uh, by the way, my name is Mohammed Shafi. You can call me Shafi. I'm the IELTS and PT trainer. So both uh, your answers on reading text, uh, obviously, don't uh, use outside knowledge. So what he's telling is, uh, in IELTS, even if you have done the same passage uh, before, same passage in the sense, for, uh, I mean, the same passage would not come. That is for sure, because once a uh, uh, passage has come that article has come that that same question same passage will not be repeated 100 percent but the topic can be repeated for example if the topic is on uh, zebra for example or on global warming see the topic can be there but the matter the questions it's all different so even if you have any previous knowledge or even if you have any knowledge on that particular uh, topic don't use that you have to go according to the text only i hope i'm really clear so for example uh, if a student is from um, ai background artificial intelligence background okay so the passage came on something related to robots okay so you should not or the, the student should not use his own knowledge to answer this uh, particular passage because the questions the 
uh, I mean, the matter which is there is completely sometimes can be different. See, the knowledge can be helpful, but we don't know whether the same thing, whatever that person has learned, will be the, the same thing. No. So, no specific knowledge is required and it will be in general interest only. So, why I'm telling you or why I'm giving you this example is whatever knowledge you have, you keep it over there and then come and answer this uh, reading passage according to the passage and questions only. Okay, just by keywords, just by those, you know, tips and uh, tricks and turns, you're going to do it. So, yes, today, yes or no, not given or true or false, not given also, we are going to discuss and then. Answers are in same order, they appear in the text. Do not waste time going back. For example, uh, first answer for false came in the, uh, like like I told you for the short answers also, right? It appears in order. For example, the first answer of true or false came in the sec uh, second paragraph. Okay. The second answer would come in third paragraph. Or at least first paragraph below it will come. For example, the first answer. You got it in the first sentence of the second paragraph. It will come after that. Okay, it won't go back. That is what he's saying. So don't waste your time going back here and there. Just search in the same order. Okay, so it is same for uh, short answers, true or false, and uh, yes or no, summary, even diagrams. For every almost every question, it is one and the same. Only one type of question. It won't be in the same order Will when it comes. OK. Yes. So it will be in the same order. Order. If you can't find the information you're looking for, then it is probably probably not given. So uh, what is true? True is nothing but actually the same statement, whatever the author has said, the same information will be there or the st same statement will be there in the question also. The same thing is asked. But paraphrasing might be different, but the meaning is the same. Okay, so that is true, which is according to this text. And the question is also saying the same thing that is 100% true. Okay, you're going to keep it as true. What is false? False is exactly opposite to whatever the statement has told in the passage. That means, um, for example, it is given uh, Ram wakes up early in the morning. It is there in the text. But in the question, it is given Ram is a late bloomer or he wakes up late. So this is false state, exactly opposite to whatever the author has said in the passage or whatever it is given in the passage. So the opposite statement is called as or to be given as false. Remember this. But what is not given? Not given is something where the particular information or the important information or at least some important information is not there okay so that is not told in the passage or not given in the passage obviously it is not given for example the entire sentence it resembles the same but one important element is missing for example the ear is missing and in that year it didn't happen or it happened or not we don't know so when we don't know things, that is not given. So simply, simply, very simply, you need to remember that not given is nothing but that is not told in the passage or not given in the passage. OK, yes. So people get confused between false and not given. False is a statement which is exactly opposite to the statement which is there in the passage. Not given is something which is exactly the information is not present or at least some important part of the information is not present. OK, so this is what you need to remember. So once you start doing it, you'll understand. Don't worry about it. OK, so identify the words and uh, uh, qualify the statement. For example, some, all, mainly, often, always, occasionally. These are some, you know, some of the words with which you can. Uh, the author is, I mean, the question is tricky. Many, he says, some, he says, mainly, often. So these kind of words, when they are when they come in question for true or false and yes or no, not good, just be a little cautious. OK, these words are to test if you read. The whole state. Meaning, for example, Coca-Cola has always made its drink, its drink in the US, in the US. Has a different meaning from Coca-Cola has mainly made its drinks in US. 
so mainly and always these who are contradicting isn't it so always made uh, rings in us and mainly they made in us is little contradicting isn't it so this can be a little tricky if you get these kind of things you know so be careful when you see verbs that qualify statements such as uh, suggest claim believe and no for example the main uh, the man claimed uh, he was a british citizen and the man is a british citizen mean two things different isn't it so the man claimed he was a british citizen he, is, he was just arguing that yes i am a british citizen but the statement the other statement says the man is a british citizen so it is perfectly saying that yes uh with confidence yes obviously he is a british citizen he's born born and brought up over there so two statements are different so uh, i'll not confuse you much don't worry about it okay so we'll then jump into the question then you will understand what and where and how to differentiate these kind of things okay so we'll do programmable uh, programmable plans which is 2.1 and also 2.2 is there it is a little small yeah yesterday someone was telling sir we'll do the difficult one we'll do 2.3 also okay we'll do 2.1 and 2.3 okay so let's see what do we have here okay so there are three questions given and always always read instructions before you start this is very important guys so i want you to read the instructions i'll give you 6 minutes to answer this question these three questions and then we'll discuss because i don't want you to just tell you the answers just just like that i want you to try this and then give me the answers your 6 minutes starts now please answer one to three questions so those who have i think you already got the link for the uh, you know handout isn't it you can access the link also and because it's a short passage here you can view the entire questions and the passage both both together you can also do it from here also but if you also access handout or no issues so the link to the handouts are all, is already given so three questions we have let's see we have 4 minutes left so your screen is not visible my screen is not visible i'm really sorry is it visible now guys you can type yes or no in the chat box so you are doing programmable plans Yes, those who have uh, got the answers, you can type in the chat box. I want all the three answers at the same time from one person, from each person. Okay, because I don't want you to type one one answer at one time and second answer at the other time. Either. <laughs> Ready Aishwarya has given 
Okay, Varsha, yesterday's answers are already there in the, uh, you know, in our website where you can handouts, right? Just ma'am showed you. You can find the answers there. Okay, if you st if you still have uh, difficulty in accessing it, let me know. So Pavan has given Harpreet. Anognya has also given the answers. Sai. Avinash, Bhavya, Sanamgi, then uh, Joy has given. So, Hail, I want more answers. Okay. Okay, those who have just joined, I've even forwarded the link for the handouts again. So we are doing 2.1 in reading. Okay. Okay, guys, your time is up. Very good. Many of you have given, um, yes, most of the answers. I mean, at least two answers correct, you know? Okay. Fine. So scientists are using a technique from electronics to control specific properties. So are they really using any electronics to control specific properties, plant properties? Let's see. So here are keywords are uh, technique, uh, control, plant properties. OK, so let's see what are these. So in electronics, even the most advanced computer is a complex arrangement of simple modular parts of the uh, that control specific functions. OK, the same integrated circuit might be found in an iPhone or an aircraft. Biologists, biologists is nothing but scientists are creating the same modularity uh, in weight of it plants in weight of it plants by designing gene circuits and control specific plant characteristics so plant properties plant characteristics and biologists is nothing but we are related to his uh, to his uh, it as scientists isn't it so we got see we don't get direct words okay so here we have scientists. I'm sorry, my pen. <laughs> so scientists, we can relate it to directly to biologists. Okay. Then, so plant characteristics. This also we found that is plant properties, specific plant properties. Even specific is also there in the question, isn't it? So yeah. So the answer is actually true. Okay, guys. So uh, the answer is true. Then some synthetic biologists work with genetic circuits of mammals. So some, uh, some or most, when these kind of words come, please, please be little extra careful. So that, that means something this examiner or the question is tricky. OK, there is some tricky uh, question coming up. OK, but don't worry about it again. Some synthetic biologists work with genetic circuits of mammals. So what is here? The relatively new uh, interdisciplinary field of, uh, one second. Yes, uh, design and genetic circuits. So we got something related to circuits. 
isn't it so genetic circuit just like electronics that control different functions and can be easily placed in one organism or next most of today's biologists work with simple microorganisms like uh, uh, e coli or yeast so he's talking about e coli and yeast but is he talking about mammals here i don't think there is no uh, mention about mammals here whether these synthetic biologists are working with the mammals or not that is not there so we cannot assume okay uh, maybe a small or one organism can be related to or small organisms can be related to mammals also we don't know that so mammals is completely a different species at by the way so so we don't know whether the mammals are being uh, you know uh, examined on the gene circuits no we don't know so the second answer would be not given definitely most of you have got it so why it is not given the mammals word is not mentioned related to this uh, genetic circuits whether the scientists are working on it or not okay so that is why it is not given and then the last one most of the synthetic biologists work with mammals then most of the synthetic biologists are they working with mammals the relatively in the blah 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 because actually it should come in sequence right so we'll check in the next uh, sentence a uh, csu team led by june medford professor of biology and ashok prasad a uh, associate professor of chemical and biological engineering is doing the same thing but in in the much more complex biological world of plants but here also they're talking about plants again isn't it they're not talking about mammals so in much more complex uh, biological world of plants not with mammals so we can actually consider this as opposite to uh, uh, plants isn't it so opposite to plants can be obviously animals or ma other mammals isn't it so we can consider it as opposite and just keep it as a false false statement most synthetic biologists work with mammals no they are now working with the more complex biological world with plants not with mammals or animals okay so we can consider this as false statement am i clear guys okay next next we'll do the little complex one today because yesterday someone was uh, typing like sir we are doing uh, only easy ones we'll do a difficult one in the class today so let's go to uh, yes let let's go to act <clears throat> activities of children 2.3 okay Okay, someone has typed something. Wait. Harpreet Singh, sir, but uh, there is no mention of mammals. Okay, no mention of mammals in. But uh, see, uh, the problem here is obviously uh, the mention of mammals is not there definitely, but it is talking that more complex biological world of plants. So plants. In we can take it as opposite to mammals or opposite to animals okay plants and animals we say right so in that way okay again don't, don't go very deep here so uh, according to uh, this context it should be actually false okay yes okay 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 i hope it is understood no worries again if you think of it definitely you will come to an understanding yes i understand okay but the answer lies in the second passage last line you mentioned okay no worries so let's go to activities of children uh activities of children uh, is 2.3 yesterday's assignment varsha uh kindly discuss the answers yesterday's assignment unable to find the answers Okay, Varsha, you will get the, those answers by the end of the uh, class. Ma'am will give it to you where to find that. Uh, you'll come to know. Don't worry about it. Okay. So now we'll concentrate on uh, today's class. 
okay no worries uh, activities of children go to 2.3 it has one two three four five six seven paragraphs and it has four questions okay so deliberately uh, we have uh, given the entire passage here so that you find out where the first question of the uh, this uh, true or false uh, not given starts from okay uh, can you please stop typing uh, avadesh kumar <laughs> So many times you've typed it. Okay. So which answer you want me to share? Uh, if it is about uh, yesterday's assignment, you will find it in the um, our website. Okay. So don't worry about it. That anyways, you'll come to know by the end of the class today. So now whatever we have discussed, uh, we have discussed it. Please come to activities of children, all of you. I want you to do this uh, passage okay yeah so it is not moving to next paragraph we are actually uh, you i want you to uh, like access this handout link i have just shared again um, in the group uh, if you want i'll share it again you can access the entire passage here because i can't show you the entire passage uh, in the on the same screen isn't it so i've posted the link from where to access the handout is it clear guys and from that handout you need to go to question number 2.3 okay okay someone is giving true who is it bhavya uh bhavya i want you to give all the answers at the same time all the four answers okay so your time starts now guys you have six minutes okay i'm reducing the time i'm just giving one and a half minute for each question so you have six minutes to answer it time starts now and the passage is activities of children okay is it clear guys can you type yes or no At least five SS. Are you are, are we all on the same page? Please access the handout and go to 2.3 and then do these four questions. Activities of children. Okay. Sara Ruhi, why false? What it is false? Okay, okay, guys, give me your answers all together one, two, three, four. Opposite to one, write your answer, opposite to two, write your answer, then send it. Don't just send me uh, false or yes or no, okay, please. We'll discuss all together. We are going to discuss 2.3 all together. So, uh, Avadesh, what do you mean by that? Uh, first question answer means, is it 2.1 uh, you're talking about? Two point one we just discussed, Avadesh. OK. So. In 2.1, the first answer is true. Second one is not given. Third is false. OK. I hope it is clear now. Please concentrate on activities of children. You have only four minutes to go, guys. OK, I'll give you two more minutes. So yes, some people are giving the answers already. Guys, try your best. I want all correct answers. Try your best. Read the question carefully. 
some questions are little tricky you know so even check the grammar of the questions also sometimes the grammar will help will help you to uh, get the right answer i mean i'm not talking about deep grammar a simple grammar past present and future so understand the question read the question go to the passage check where that question is i mean uh, the information is with the help of keywords but even also the grammar is very important you know sometimes examiners trick with these uh, you know things like using a grammar also using grammar also uh, you couldn't see question question is uh, already i shared in the link the link is not working okay yesterday also the same thing someone was telling why wouldn't it work you need to sign into that when when everyone else is getting uh, signing into it why can't you buddy abdesh can you stop typing it please i already shared it again you're typing the same thing so not showing her uh, her please not showing questions so i am actually showing the questions on the screen also usually it should show questions even in the handout also which you uh, got the link okay again i'm posting the same thing if it's not showing the questions questions are there on the screen okay you can view those uh, thing okay i've just shared the link i'm not sure we know what is the technical problem you can you need to check um, because when others are getting it why not you so you need to check with ma'am once why you're not getting it maybe you need to sign it sign into the website and check okay so that is the thing okay. so many of you have given the answers already very good okay i'll just wait for two more minutes some of you have uh, been actually asking the link and stuff right so those who have just joined and can you please start doing it <clears throat> Sohail, Joseph, okay, and Charul, yeah, many of you have given the answers, okay. Divya. Guys, you need to join at correct time so that you can actually, uh, you know, get access the link. See, 7.30 is what you need to be uh, onto the call. So if you have any technicality, technical issues, you can solve with the ma'am and ask why you're not able to access the link and all so now it is already eight o'clock okay so if you have if you still have problem no worries you can always access this class uh, uh in the next day so i mean by tomorrow you can see it now website okay so don't worry about it so maybe there's some technical error for one or two people i can see that okay let's discuss this two minutes is also over According to American Heart Foundation, cholesterol levels of boys are higher than girls. Okay. So, first, our keywords are American Heart Foundation, then cholesterol levels or cholesterol, boys and girls. Okay. Let's see where we have uh we have it in one two three third paragraph we have this okay 
सर्वे ओके थर्ड पैराग्राफ इट इज नॉट देर ओके फोर्थ ओके लेट्स सी वी हैव इट ओवर हियर यस इट्स देयर इन द सेकंड पैराग्राफ इट सेल्फ ओके सो अमेरिकन हार्ट फाउंडेशन इज हियर it's in the second paragraph so in 1995 professor armstrong headed a five year research project in children's fitness the result published in 1990 so when did the result got so these are a keywords and years names of people these are important right so when you go through any paragraph or uh, when you go through these things you just un underline things if you're doing a paper based test okay if you're doing a comp computer based test there you can highlight things okay so results were published in 1990 alarming survey blah 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 found that 48% of girls and 41% of boys already exceeded the cholesterol level so all the keywords we got so 48% of girls and 41% of the boys already exceeded so cholesterol levels of boys are r r means it is it is talking about present present scenario isn't it but the survey happened in 1990 it happened in the past but what is the present scenario or what is the present levels of boys and girls we don't know so the answer for the first one is not given so simply the examiner has tricked us by this tense present tense so Amer everything is there see according to american heart foundation american heart foundation is there cholesterol levels are there boys and girls are there okay so everything is there but what is the present scenario cholesterol levels of boys are higher even i think that is also correct but what is the present scenario r r means at now at now uh the boys of uh, the boys cholesterols is higher no the present scenario we don't know this survey happened in 1990 so the present scenario we are not aware of it the answer should be not given most of you have given uh false i know i understand but shubham i don't know whether uh, how you got this thing but you have guessed it right shubham has given the right answer and who else has given the right answer for the first one um yeah shubham only shubham shubham okay okay so some some have given it as true so mostly everyone has given it as uh, true or false mostly most of them you uh, yeah yeah i, I got many trues actually than false because the entire statement is there you know 48% of girls and 41% for boys so it it should be according to me it should be uh, the 48 uh, boys percentage is lower isn't it and girls percentage is higher so usually what they do okay boys are higher means obey okay, it should be a false statement uh, we need to keep you'll just keep it but the 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 tense here he has changed is deliberately so he changed at present what is the um, cholesterol levels of boys we don't know so that is why it is first one is not given ng okay okay by the way is don't write uh, ngs and uh, t for true for true uh, don't write t okay so it is not acceptable i want you to write complete answer for example if it is Uh, not given. You'll write N O T G I V E. If the answer is true, T R U E true, you need to write. If the answer is false, F A L S E. Don't write short forms. Okay. When you jot down the answers in the answer sheet. Okay. That is very very important, guys. Okay. Don't give any short forms. So the first answer is not given. Then British children generally do less exercise than some European countries. So let's see. Most of you have given. it as some of you have given 
fall. Some of you have given not given for second one also. Okay. And uh, some of you have given true. True, true, true. Shubham has given true. Okay. Okay. Om Shri also has given it as true. Okay. So British children generally do less, less exercise than uh, some other European countries. Let's see. So it should come in sequence, right? So first one, we got it here. I think second one, it should, come, it should come something related. I mean, after that, isn't it? So physical education is under pressure in UK. In the UK, most schools uh, devote little more than 100 minutes a week uh, to it in curriculum time, which is less than many other European countries. So here we have this. See, we got the exact, uh, you know, uh, sentence. So it starts from here and here. So this is our sentence. What is it saying? Most schools devote very less time in where in the UK. So, okay. So in the UK, they devote very less time for this exercise, isn't it? In the in their curriculum, which is way lesser than other European countries. So definitely the answer the British children generally do less exercise than other European countries. So the answer is hundred percent true. Okay. So second answer is true, guys. Then Skipping becomes more and more popular in schools of UK. So let's see the keywords here are skipping becomes more popular. OK. OK, popular or more popular. In, obviously, we're talking about UK schools, isn't it? So let's see if skipping uh, becomes more popular in UK schools. And what answer? Given most of you have given it not given. Let's see. So a former junior football international, Professor Armstrong is passionate to advocate the sport. Although the government has poured millions into uh, beefing up the sport in the community, there is less commitment to blah 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 and cram school curriculum. This means the children never acquire blah 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 and lose interest in. So we don't have anything related to here. The poor diet we have. Let's see if we can find it below this. Okay, physical education association prompted and psychology and give youngsters a PE program and shows. Okay, we have not got anything related to skipping here. Let's see if we can get the good news. However, is that. Few small companies and children activities group have reacted positively and creatively to problem. Take and Gloria Thomas, take that eco flog and outrageous postures. Okay, here also we don't have. Brings back into tears to the eyes. Any cardiovascular exercises is a good opinion. It doesn't necessarily to be high intensity it can do anything and gets the heart rate up okay here we have something related to swimming here such as walking a dog such as walking a dog swimming we have so i'm sorry okay so here we have uh, something related to swimming okay so let's see uh, what is this talking about. It can be anything that gets your heart rate up, such as walking uh, the dog, swimming, running, skipping, hiking, even uh, walking through grocery stores can be good exercise, right? That's what he's saying. What they don't know is that the fit kids class, blah, blah, blah. So it is not given that it is popular or it has become popular. See, skipping word is there, uh, but it is not given whether it has become more popular or at least popular in schools of UK. 
it is just given that skip, skipping is one of the exercises so it should be not given guys straight away so the element which is not there is whether it has become popular or not we don't know so when it is not given this popularity is not there obviously it should be not given the answer should be 100% not given okay then fourth one according to healthy uh, kids the first task for the parents to encourage their kids to keep the same healthy body weight so uh, obviously healthy heart uh, healthy kids is our uh, uh, keyword here so according to healthy kids the first task okay first task can also be a keyword so keywords can be anything i'm just choosing this randomly according to me according to me so first task of parents to encourage their children okay encourage their children to keep them healthy body weight okay first task so let's see what is their first task so it should come after this because uh, here we got the uh, uh, second answer or the third answer third answer here so fourth answer will be somewhere here a prevention survey so survey is uh, what he's talking about right according to healthy heart heart kids healthy kids okay so prevention survey found the children whose parents keep in shape something related to parents came keep in shape as uh, uh, or are much more likely to have healthy body weights healthy body weights themselves okay guys whenever something comes in inverted commas it is super super important okay so there might be a chance you know 90 percent of chance that can be an answer so i'm just uh, just taking this there is nothing worse than telling a child that he needs to do and not doing it yourself okay so that means uh, first the parent should do and then they ask their children to do it. Did you understand this? See, it is worse that there's nothing worse than telling a child what he needs to do and not doing it yourself. What exercise? He's talking about exercise, right? So let's come to the question back again. According to healthy kids, the first task is parents to encourage their children to keep the same body weight. So, so the parents should not tell the children first parents should come into the uh, you know into shape and first do the things like exercise and all and then tell the uh, you know the children their children so the first task is not to tell the children first task is for them to come into the shape or do the exercises then the next task is to tell the children so this will take will take it as false because the first uh, task is not telling them the first task is for them to do the exercise got it so this much of paraphrasing is required got it so the fourth answer is false am i clear guys for everyone any doubts here any doubts any any anyone who has any doubt for these questions Okay, Haripreet is asking answer to second question. So answer to second question, uh, British children generally do less exercise than some other children. It, so it is true. It is already there in the um, second paragraph. No, third paragraph. Okay, third paragraph, first sentence only. Okay. Then someone is typing. Can you repeat uh, why fourth one is false? Uh, okay, it's quite easy. <laughs> uh, healthy kids, kids first task. So the first task is for the parents is not to tell the children what they need to do. First task for the parents is for them to come into shape first and then tell the children. Okay. So that is there in the last paragraph second sentence if you can see my screen okay you can read the entire first sentence and second sentence you'll understand it okay 
ओके 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 एमलिन जॉय सो डोंट गो इन डीप इन टू डीप इन टू द क्वेश्चन सो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन गेट द की वर्ड्स एंड गो आंसर इट ओके सो यस सो डोंट गो इन टू द टाइम हियर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट वन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट वन राइट is it the first one first one is all about time when it happened so the first question no the second one yeah second one is straight away uh, true british children generally do less exercise than some other uh, european countries obviously it is true please uh, read the sentence one more time and you will understand it okay because the paraphrasing uh, see some extra information is given in between but it is saying that usually uk kids do less exercise than another other european kids it is generally the the st entire statement is saying that okay don't worry even if you don't get at this amount of time don't worry about it guys i want you to go through it uh, in peace of mind because you just some of you guys are doing it just now isn't it okay let's go to the next question okay Next question we'll do a yes or no not given this time, okay? Let's see what do we have in yes or no not given. Yes or no not given is the same thing, but uh, it will be you know you need to work, uh, like follow the instructions. Instead of yes, you can't write no. Instead of no, you can't write false. This is what you need to take care of. Why? The reason is very simple because the instruction is given yes or no. you need to write like that only okay not given is same for both of them there is no change for yes or no and true or false both are were in the same but the instruction is given in yes or no you should write yes for yes only no, i mean you can't write yes for true okay this is what you need to understand otherwise everything is one and the same yes is nothing but whatever the writer has told or claimed in the passage the same statement is statement is there it is done okay so let's see what do we have here okay we'll do the first one 3.1 okay which is about uh, industrial robots have boosted productivity and growth but their effect on jobs remains an open question okay 3.1 So three point one has one, two, three paragraphs, and it has five questions. So please start doing it. I'll give you exactly uh, eight minutes. no siddha that is not false because most and some are one and the same is just tricking okay so don't worry about it uh it is just saying but if you read the entire first two sentences you will understand okay just give some time for the entire uh, thing to uh, grasp i want you to just go through it one more time and do it now you can answer 3.1 link has already been shared ma'am okay those who are not able to operate this i want you to take a pick of this industrial robots have boosted this pick can you all take a screenshot of it please
Did you take the screenshot? Then I'll display the questions. Usually it should be there in your handout. But if it is not there, you're not able, some of you guys are not able to access. You can take the first screenshot of that and then answer these questions. Okay. This one also you can take a screenshot. Science fiction those are interested in their boats so doing it with this. So are you guys doing it? Can you type yes? Because I want most uh, part participation. I want everyone to participate in this. Please give your answers so that you'll understand uh, reading better when you are doing assignments. OK, when you're doing other exercise, you'll understand it. So I want you to do this, please. OK, those who have uh, finished doing it can type those five answers at the same time. Uh, Harpreet, if you're not able to access it, I just told everyone to take a pick. Those who are not able to access this, I want you to take a pic of this, take a screenshot or a picture and then answer this. What is NG, Harpreet? OK, Sai Avinash, answers for yesterday's uh, uh, handout is already there in the website. You can access it. Uh, by the end of this uh, session, ma you can ask ma'am how to uh, access those answers. So ma'am will let you know. OK. See, all you need is you need to just go to the website and search over there Okay, when you sign in. So if you are not able to get it, you need to contact now. OK, guys, give me your answers. Some of you have given already. Saib Nash. OK, Charul Sharma has given. Uh, Manogna has given. Swastika. Swastika is given. Then, guys, I want more more people to give the answers fast. Guys, those who have just joined, it is already time up. I want you to uh, go through the class. It is there in the website. Will It will be there, uh, uploaded in the website by tomorrow. OK? So 7.30 every day it starts, guys. So please be at 7.30 sharp, everyone, so that you even get the access to the handouts, uh, the link to the uh, handouts and everything. If you're not able to access it, you can immediately uh, you know, contact ma'am and say why it is. OK, so the technical difficulties you can uh, you would have clarified when you have logged in exactly at 730. OK, OK, so most of you have given the answers. Scientific will discuss science fiction writers are interested in robots for two main reasons. So let's read 
this one Ro robots capacity of autonomous autonomous movement and their ability to perform an expanding set of tasks have captured writers imaginations for almost a century recently robots have emerged from the pages of science fiction novels into the real world a discussion of their possible economic effects have been uh, okay but a series of problems inhabit these discussions to date and there has been no okay so robots capacity of autonomous movement and their ability to perform so two things autonomous movement and their ability to perform and uh, expanding set of tasks okay so two things are there right so this has actually captured so that means scientific writers are interested in robots for two main reasons so obviously it's talking about uh, writers here captured writers isn't it so we got the keywords here so let me use the ballpoint so captured the writers attention for what uh two main reasons autonomous movement and their ability to perform okay so all these things will go to the science fiction writers are interested in robots for two main reasons so the answer is true uh, sorry if you write true it will be <laughs> wrong answer is yes okay first answer is yes then robots are no longer a subject of science fiction so most of you have given oh my god some have also has given yes some have given no one two three four five okay let's see robots are no longer a subject of science fiction so recently robots have emerged from the pages of science fiction novels into the real world and discussions for their possible economic effects have become uh ambiguous but a series of problems so okay okay so here it is talking about problems again uh, problems of economic effects so here we have recently robots have emerged from pages of scientific novels into the real world so robots no longer a subject of science fiction that means it is becoming real world so this should be no longer robots are no longer a subject of science fiction so definitely it should be true and what is is also telling imaginations almost a century okay recently the robots have emerged so here he's talking something about recently recently robots have emerged from the pages of science fiction of novels into the real world okay so no longer no longer and recently so we don't know whether we still uh we st it is still there into that means we completely came out of the science fiction thing robots are no longer a subject of science fiction we don't know about it actually it should be not given it is not true okay it should be not given because recently robots have emerged out of science fiction pages in the real world so recently slowly they are coming into the real world but they no longer be the subject of science fiction we don't know they, they might be uh, or might not be isn't it so it should be actually not given the second answer is not given guys okay one second and so you to hear yes here we are so the second one is not given and uh, third one what is third one is talking about robots are talking sorry taking over the real world are they taking over the real world let's see so here real world word is there again here we have got something related to real world but is it talking about taking about the real world robots have emerged from the pages and science fiction and novels uh, uh, into the real world let's see 
robots are taking over the real world so let's go to the second paragraph also we find that industrial robots increase labor productivity total uh, factor productivity and wages at the same time while industrial robots have no significant effect on total hours work as we explained below there is some evidence that they reduce the employment and low skilled workers and to a lesser extent to the middle uh, skilled workers so industrial robots dramatically increase in scope of replacing uh, human labor compared with the older types of machines so the industrial robots dramatically increase the scope of replacing human labor so it is saying the increase of replacing the human labor uh, with the older type of machine since they reduce the need of human in intervention. Uh, OK, so it's talking about human intervention. And here also robots are taking about taking over the real world. Actually, this one also should be not given. See, see, it is taking taking saying that science fiction, it is coming into the real world. But it is, are they really completely taking over the real world? We don't know yet. Actually, they are not taking over the real world, isn't it? So, yes. So let's go to the third, fourth one. Before we discuss the second, third one, let's go to the fourth one also. We have doubt with the third one, whether it is going to uh, know or not given we have that doubt right so let's clarify the doubt after reading these two also nobody is discussing the real world consequences of uh, robots no they are discussing isn't it industrial robots dramatically increase the scope of replacing human labor blah 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 isn't it so even the economic consequences also they are discussing here how the uh, entire thing uh, the human race will affect and all these things isn't it so this is exactly false this is false. The fourth one is false, definitely. Let's go to the fifth one also. Researchers need to undertake the study of economic consequences of robots. So researchers need to undertake a scientific study of the economic consequences. So do they need to study the economic consequences here? So industrial robo, okay, typical applications of industrial robots include assembling uh dispensing handling processing and welding all which of uh, the prevent the manufacturing industries as well as harvesting so something related to undertake the scientific study of economic consequence of robots anywhere anywhere it is there let's see usually it should come in sort con i mean sequence so i'm just uh being 100 percent sure economic effects so yeah something related to economic effects are there but a serious problem inhabits this these discussions to date there has been no synthetic imperial analysis of an economic economic effects that robots are already having okay okay this question i mean this uh, uh, sentence actually uh, relates to the third one i think i got the third answer here Robots are taking over the real world. So it is false. Because this sentence says, but a serious problem inhabits these discussions, whether this real world, they're taking over the real world or not. Isn't it? To, to date, there has been no uh, systematic imperial analysis that, that whether the, the robots are taking over the real world or not. So we got the answer for the third one. Third one is definitely false okay yes now let's go to the fifth one see guys this is the way you should get it when you're not getting one uh question don't stick to it go to the other questions and find out the answers for that and then come back and do the question which you uh if you find it a little difficult this is the way you should do see i do already okay but i want you to understand this when you're getting the answer for the second one and fourth one and others when one question is troubling you don't get stuck at that point so that is what I wanted to show you here. Okay. Third one is false. Then 
researchers need to undertake a scientific study to the economic consequences of robots i think something related to research has to be done on the uh, consequences so it is also not given here according to me okay so so actually research related thing is not given anywhere again let's see they are talking about any industrial research at the same time while industrial robots have no significant on total hours there is uh, some evidence that they reduce the employment and works okay so industrial robots dramatically increase the scope of replacing human okay so i think this one is also uh, not given fifth one is also not given guys so fifth one is also not given okay let me repeat the answers first one is yes uh, and then second one is not given third is uh, false okay third is false and fourth one is no fifth one is not given okay yes so these are the answers if you have any other uh, queries please let me know okay what is fourth uh, why is fourth answer no can you explain so uh, actually it is not no it is not given researchers need to undertake a scientific study so researchers need to do a scientific study uh, is not related to uh, economic consequences of robots so there is no uh, research is has been conducted okay to uh, undertake what to know the consequences of economic consequences of robots so no research has been done it i mean we, we, there is no not mentioned it anywhere okay researchers have to undertake something okay so need to undertake that is not mentioned researchers need to undertake some scientific study is not mentioned okay so that would be not given fifth one is not given and fourth one is definitely no nobody is discussing about the real world or the consequence of robots the reason why fourth one the reason why it is no is it's very easy industrial robots is dramatically increasing the scope of replacing human labor and also here also the uh, second paragraph is talking about how uh, these uh, you know uh, real world consequences would be so definitely they are discussing so it is not nobody discussing so it is exactly opposite so that is why it is fourth one is no okay someone is asking again why the second question can't we know sir okay uh, robots are no longer a subject of science fiction okay see the recently robots have emerged from the pages of uh, science fiction novels isn't it but i uh, i told you that there is no there is there is a word no longer which tells that whether they still a part of science fiction or not a part of science fiction that is not given in the uh, passage because they have just come out of the science, uh, science fiction novels but whether they still part or not that is not given well, okay you understand it right so i want you to read one more time and then definitely you'll understand it okay so the understanding level has to come when you read lots and lots of articles i want you to read more and more articles and understand the author's mentality author's way of writing it okay and listen to documentaries all these things okay so uh, tomorrow i want you to do um remaining exercises which we didn't discuss for example programmable plans 2.1 and uh, 2.2 also will be your 
homework or assignment okay and once you do the assignment even the answers are also displayed the next day okay so do the assignment and check the answers and how to check the answers how to access the answers you can ask from the map okay thank you guys see you tomorrow and tomorrow we are going to discuss more about uh you know next set of questions which are uh you know task completion or sentence completion okay how to do these things okay so we'll do it tomorrow and uh, the remaining questions like 3.2 okay 3.2 uh and uh, from 2.1 i want you to whatever we didn't do it i want you to do it uh, do it as a assignment okay from today's uh, handouts thank you guys see you tomorrow and have a great day have a great night thank you so bye ma'am thank you okay thank guys you. if you have any queries just put uh, them in the chat box very quickly uh, because it's already i think it's quite late so yeah we'll just um, end the session uh, okay we'll just end the session soon uh, so just uh, drop in your queries if you have any otherwise just uh, we'll just end the session